So, what, what's your impressions right out of the gate? I, uh, I saw some good things out there, you know, and I think as a coach, you got to really look at some of the positive things to do. And sometimes as coaches, we have a tendency to, to dwell on the negatives. And, uh, you know, I told these guys uh, after practice today, and if we can just find a way to get better uh, every day, you know, at, at one thing, if each player just gets better at one thing, as we continue to progress through this thing, we're going to have a chance to be uh, a much better football team. What did you learn about the team today, first time on the field with them? You know, I think the kids are excited. You know, the last thing I said to them before we left the team meeting today is, just, guys, just, just let, let us coach you. Just let us coach the heck out of you. And uh, they're excited about that. And, you know, you guys are out here long enough. Uh, we're we're going to get after them. And uh, we're going to coach them hard. And you can't take it personal. And uh, we're, gonna, we're not going to accept anything less than uh, their best effort. Coach, is that part of your philosophy to come out here day one of spring and not just run through drills, but run through plays and get these guys into that rhythm right off the bat? You know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a compliment to our coaches what we were able to come out here and do the first day. I, I saw a lot of positive things. You know, we still got a little bit of a problem with the uh, mistakes before the whistle, which was obviously a problem last year. But, you know, I think that's also a lot of anxiousness and guys being jumpy and anticipating and hopefully they'll calm down a little bit. But, uh, you know, we want to set the tone early. And uh, I told our staff this morning, we're not getting today back. And we're going to set the tone for this football team today. And uh, I, I, I feel good about where we're going. What did you, what'd you like, as you say, keep saying you like what you saw? What were some of the positives? I, you know, I, I like guys giving effort. and I like guys having a little bit of chatter out there and, and uh, getting excited and making plays and coaches hustling around. And, uh, you know, this was a different experience for me today. This is the first time that uh, I didn't have necessarily my own position, and I'm not chasing guys around. So uh, it, it was a different experience for me as a coach. And, uh, you know, I just got to continue to grow and learn, and, and hopefully we can continue to develop as a staff and, and as a football team. You looked like you were, you were letting your guys coach. I mean, you weren't, like, you know, butting in every minute. You were kind of just trusting them. Uh, you know, I, I think it's important, you know. I mean, you know, I've had some unique experiences being with a lot of rookie coaches. And, uh, you know, I think sometimes as a head coach you can get too involved maybe in uh, a, a certain positions or become a little bit overbearing. And you kind of uh, maybe you lose some confidence in your assistant coaches. They lose confidence in their abilities, and you got to let them coach. And, uh, you know, we'll take care of things off film, and you just make notes of some things you see, and hopefully you can continue to work through it as a staff. But, uh, you know, I, I really want to let those guys coach. Some Once in a while you'll hear me blurt something out just because I can't help myself. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, it's still a game of football. It's still about passion and intensity, and, and uh, I love being out here. No secret through the media, you've put the pressure on the seniors and the veterans coming back that no job is safe, that everybody, all these spots are open for grabs. Have you seen in maybe one day of practice the level of competition that you were hoping for? You know, and, and, and I will see some at some positions. We, we got some competition. Uh, we got some other guys that are just kind of feeling their way around right now a little bit. But uh, we're going to we're going to create a competitive atmosphere. And if we have to move a guy from linebacker to defensive end. If we have to move a guy, you know, from corner to safety, whatever the case may be, uh, we're going to find a way to create competitions. So that way, you know, I'm a believer in competition makes us all better. And uh, I don't care what profession you're in. you got to have competition. I want guys breathing down that guy's neck and letting them know that if, you know, you make a mistake, uh, you might lose your job. Coach, the looseness of the, of the players so you can <coughs> a little bit. Is, does that make it easier a little bit when you can do that? You know, I think it's important to have a relationship with your players uh, whereas, you know, off the field, uh, they realize that you're a normal human being. Uh, you know, these guys see me at these 6 a.m.s and, and sometimes out here as, you know, always being in your face and, and getting after them. I want them to realize that I do have a, a normal personality and I can have fun and joke around with them. And, you know, I think it's a good even kill and it's, it's important to have that balance. It, I don't want it to always be just uh, in your face type of environment. Is it usually your hair that they get after now? That they like to get after me about my hair and my clothes. I mean, you name it, they uh, they enjoy it. And, uh, you know, they're just jealous. It's, it's hard, you know, when you got an old man like me and I look better than them. <laughs> there was a lot of cheering out there. This was a very loud practice. <gasps> we haven't seen a whole lot of in the past. Is that something you're trying to promote with these guys, that if someone makes a good play, everyone should be behind them? 
Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just a game of emotions. And uh, one of the things that I learned at early age with Coach Snyder at Kansas State is, is you got to play with great emotion. And, uh, you know, you, you have a choice every day when you wake up. You, you're either excited about what you're going to do or you're not. If you're not excited about what you're going to do, you're probably in the wrong profession. And uh, I, I'm blessed, I'm fortunate that uh, I get an opportunity to do the things that I love, and that's work with young people and, uh, you know, coach the game of football. Coach, you mentioned that the players were nervous. Were you nervous at all today? Oh uh, yeah. I mean, that's that's common. I, I called a couple of our coaches last night, and I told them, because I, I knew that they were nervous. And I said, uh, you know, if you weren't a little bit nervous, something would be wrong. You know, you don't have butterflies. And every year I've been in coaching, every spring, every fall camp, I've always had butterflies like I was a rookie coach. And I think that tells you that it's, you probably have the right feelings. And, uh, you know, it's exciting. I mean, it's fun to come out here and, uh, you know, it becomes contagious, I believe.